Probability is an important mathematical 11 plus skill. It concerns working out the probability of a particular event happening. I've written some numbers on the board here and also I've got these numbers in this bag. So what is the the chance of me picking out say number eight from this bag? Well let's give it a go. Oh there you are, number eight. I've picked it out first time. So does that mean that the probability of me picking the eight out of this bag is actually 100%? I'm bound to get a number eight every time I pick a number from the bag. Well, I don't think that's true. So let's look at probability in a more theoretical way. Well, how do we work out the theoretical probability of picking number eight from this list of numbers? Well, here's the definition of theoretical probability. So the probability of picking a number eight is the number of ways of picking an eight from that list over the total number of possible outcomes. So let's count those up. The number of ways of picking an eight is one, two, three. So as a fraction, that's the number that goes in the numerator. And the total number of possible outcomes, well, that's 10. There are 10 numbers in this list. So that becomes the denominator. So now we've defined it theoretically, the probability of picking the card number 8 is 3 out of 10. You could write that as 0 0.3 as well. OK, let's do another question. What's the probability of picking a prime number? Well, you've got the list of numbers again, but we have to make sure that we know what a prime number is to be able to answer this question. Prime numbers are numbers that have exactly two distinct factors. So, Let's look at some of these numbers. There's the number one. Is that a prime number? Well, the only way to make one have two factors is to multiply it by itself. In other words, to go one times one. That equals one. So is that two distinct factors? In fact, it's not. The factor is repeated. So one is not a prime number. Let's choose other numbers from the list and see if they're prime numbers. Let's have a look at number 11. The two factors that I can see immediately for 11 are 11 times 1. So the only two factors are the number itself, number 11, and 1. And so that makes this number 11 a prime number. Now there are other numbers in the list that are prime numbers, and that's number 2, number 3, and number 7, so that makes it three prime numbers more than the 11. So altogether we've got four prime numbers. So remembering what we did on the last um, slide, the probability of picking a prime number is 4 out of 10. And that does equal 0 0.4. Now, going back to the experiment we did in the beginning, if we were to repeat that picking number cards from the bag and we repeated it 100 times, how many times would we expect to get a prime number? 
Well, this is found by doing the probability of getting a prime number, which is what we've just done on the, on the last question. So that was 0.4 or 4 tenths. And we multiply it by the number of trials that are being done. So 0.4 times 100 equals 40 times. So we would expect to get 40 prime numbers picked out of the bag.